Yeah. Now what? We gotta look at the money. Like how much do we? Do we can we? Look at that. Well, I mean, they can confirm it. Yeah, that's what I look at it. Look whose money. I'm asking. His money? Who cares? $50 million. Okay. No, Andy Dog's not making that kind of bread. Yeah, not making that kind of coin. Let's talk about it, though. I do want to bring up the figures. I think it's a good idea. I just wanted to look at it just to see. But no, no, that's exactly right. You can answer the question afterwards. I was 16.2, you cut him no dead money. Bro, oh, talk a lot, bro. Talk a lot. Stay in the bro. All right, guys, we are back. CasPotatoGM.com is the website. Cast Potato General Manager is the YouTube channel. You know it because you're on it. We are here to talk about the Cincinnati Marvin Lewis list. I like it. Bengals. Finally. Finally. 16 seasons? Like finally, it. The Rock has come back to. No. Finally. Mm. Marvin Lewis is gone. We're talking the Bengals. Yeah, it was a mess out there. All season. Preview. I think it got so bad they brought back uh, Hugh Jackson. Is that what happened? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. He was helping with the defense. Oh, the mm. defense. Mm. Okay. Mm. Thought he was the offensive. Mm. No? Yeah, All right. He was helping Marvin Lewis with the defense because Marvin had to take back play calling duties. Oh, uh, man. It, it was a mess over there, man. And you got a you know, new coaching staff going. Something different, man. Something, something, something different. Something, but we don't know. That's still yeah. a mystery as well. But... The Cincinnati, before we get to the offseason preview, let's get to uh, the 2018 recap. Mm -hmm. um, the Bengals, you know, A.J. Green got hurt. You know, Andy Dawson got hurt. But, you know, the issue, you know, the offensive line, they still had to shore up some things there. They tried. They got Billy Price, mm -hmm. got a Cordy Glenn. So they, they improved their offensive line, but he, some work still needs to be done there. But defensively, man, 32nd ranked defense in total yards, 32nd and third down percentage, 32nd in passing yards. Just, just the worst in the league, man. They went through a stretch where it, it was just they couldn't stop anybody. And they have too much talent on their defense. I'm gonna start there to to to, to be that bad, man. And Marvin Lewis, maybe the message got kind of old, guys. You know, you know, Vontae Burfay out there, and it's like maybe the locker room. So you know, defensively, I think they can be improved. But what you guys thought about the defense last season? I've heard this term a couple of different times. Defensively, they look like paper champs, mm. right? With all the the, the the flash and the dash, all, all the I mean the, the front four, they, they got waves, they got names for days. Yeah. The, the, the 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 back four, um, you know, William Jackson's supposed to be a, a we we was thinking he was gonna be a, a superstar, one of yeah. the best corners in the league. Drake Drake Patrick, he's doing his thing over there. You know the 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 the, the safeties they got. You know Jesse Bates showed up. You know, um, but in terms of the the three linebackers, yeah. the, the the second level. But the linebackers are just slow, man. The boys couldn't play in space, and if you're giving them that much yardage in terms of passing, just total yards, I mean, I don't know how you have that much talent everywhere else and be this bad defensively. I don't, I don't know how that's possible unless people they just didn't care. Yeah, they mail it in, pack it in, cut straight to the chase. They're mm -hmm. drafting the other white. Hey, Devin White at, at eleven, right? That's, I got him in the, uh, my mock draft at coffeepotatogm.com. Got him right there at that 11th spot. It just makes perfect sense. Athleticism mm -hmm. in that linebacker position. If he falls, though. Sure. Because there might be some teams before him. Maybe Tampa Bay. They might have to trade out. Buccaneers. Yeah, I have five, but I don't do that. You know, it's some guys, you know, he's going to be highly coveted. Let me, ask you, let me ask you a question. I just thought about something, okay? In, in terms of free agency, there, there is a linebacker. He may or may not make it out of where he's at, and that's a C.J. Mosley. That's a division, division, division rival. It's a guy you 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 know you like to, to pluck from your, your your opponent. That way you don't have to deal with that player because they're on your team now. I mean, that'd be a hell of a player to just plug and play and let's let's run it. That'd be a big move, you know. And, it would be. And then you know for the Bengals, they don't have necessarily have to go linebacker immediately. They can go get them a tight end because Tyler and Tyler, Tyler, yeah, he's... Tyler and Tyler. Can, I mean, they, I heard, they can't stay healthy. Uh, yeah, I heard Eifert was healthy, but you know, mm -hmm. you, you can't go into the season and say, you know, that, that's just tight end one. That, that can't, <laughs> be, you, you that know, can't be tight end one. You man. know, he's made a glass, right? Definitely. Man. Eventually, he's going to break it, and, and we're going to be back to tight end five on the roster. Um, you know, I, I, I want to ask Bengal fans, so I want to ask y'all something, man. What, what, what's your take on Andy Dalton, man? 
Like, 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 do, do you think he's part of the reason why this team has struggled? You know, because I've seen so many passes where he's just overthrown and just missed the wide open guy. Well, you just answered your own question. Okay. Okay, I'll just make sure I was said, I was seeing the same thing that... You know, he's been uh, consistently average, you know, throughout his career. And that's what Andy Dalton has been, you know. Um, you know, he has and A.J. Green. Sometimes he focuses in too much on A.J. Green, throwing interceptions. And you know, we've seen the emergence of Tyler Boyd last season. John Ross was used incorrectly. I know you're a big um, advocate of John Ross, man. Yeah, I I certainly, you know, when you, when you take a step back, you take a step back. Because we, we've already jumped into the 2019 offseason and there's 20, 2018. And that's that's where the John Ross conversation comes into play. No, you know, you didn't, there's no 2017 yeah, John Ross? That's when it really started. Well, the dog house. certainly, yeah. certainly. And and I think I think without question, his confidence is shot. I think without question. And and we've seen it a couple in a couple of different areas. I'll use Amari Cooper for example. You know, guy with a ton of talent, ton of ability, and he was in his head. He was in his head, fighting the football, fighting the football. A change of scenery, goes to Dallas, and he plays lights out. As for the Bengals, maybe, maybe, maybe that's that's what they need to rid themselves of that contract because you know even on the rookie deal he was picked in the top ten. You know there were some other guys that came after that that I'm sure Bengal fans would prefer to have at this juncture, but I will say this about John Ross. I thought coming out, and I'm gonna use a comparable receiver here in terms of the skill set. Um, I thought coming out he was a better player than Will Fuller. All right? Now, for your fantasy heads out there, you guys love Will Fuller. You know what I'm saying? With Deshaun Watson, it seems like he's catching a touchdown pass every week. Yeah. And, and, and frankly, he is. He, he, he actually is. Well, during Will Fuller's rookie season, he had seven drops. This past season, John Ross had seven drops. So. And, and John Ross, I think, without question, was a better player coming out of college than Will Fuller. Better in terms of in terms of the full route tree, mm -hmm. and 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 particularly in the red zone. For a smaller receiver, I thought he was really impressive in the red zone. Now, of course, he's no AJ Green, yeah. but to your point, Hadley, I think he was deployed incorrectly. Now, he he had some faults of his own. Make no mistake, he struggled to stay healthy throughout his entire career, football career, and and dropping the ball is on you. Dropping the ball is on you. But again. We've talked about it before on some of our previous videos. It's about putting players in a position to be successful. And when you when you invest a top pick in a player like that, you have to build them up. Yeah. You have to build them up. That 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 fumble on the reverse or whatever the case may be, and then just and then just shutting him down. I guess because he he kept the you know he kept his mouth shut about an injury, and him in the doghouse with Marvin Lewis. Going back to the Wolf Fuller comp, the Texans were patient. They were patient. And they, and they gave Will Fuller an opportunity to develop. Now, of course, he's dealt with some injuries of his own. Mm -hmm. You know, he plays opposite the best receiver in the game, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Right now, DeAndre Hopkins. A.J. Green is an elite receiver. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You could you could have a very nice pairing there, you know, especially with the emergence of, of Tyler, Boyd. Tyler Boyd as well. Yeah, and and I like Tyler Boyd a lot coming out. You know yeah. what I mean? And no, I said that's what we kind of thought when, when the John Ross got drafted uh, by the Bengals. It's... Oh, you're going to put him next to A.J. Green. He's going to free up A.J. Green for more. A.J. Green's going to free him up for one-on-one -on -one coverage. So, you know, we thought it was a, a, a good draft pick at the time. But, like you said, man, it's just the doghouse, man, with Marvin Lewis. I, I still don't get to this day why, you know, they said because he didn't disclose an injury. But he, he's a talented football player. And if you, if you use the correct way, we see how teams are using those kind of guys all yeah. over the league. Tyreek Hill, Will Fuller. It's just... Speed, man, you, you can't tease speed, and, and it opens up so much other things for your offense to flourish. You know, underneath, intermediate, and so on. You know, what struck me initially when when they, they mothballed John Ross, to be perfectly frank. And again, if, if you're a Bengals fan and you're, you're like, you know, to hell with John Ross, that, 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 that's certainly your prerogative. He didn't play well. There's, there's no question about it. Um, we're just pointing out that the, the organization, the coaching staff, didn't do a good job of putting him in position to be successful either. Um, but... But the Bengals, you go back a couple of years, the Bengals were struggling offensively. They started off, I thought they, they, they were shut out a couple of weeks in a row, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, if I'm memory right. serves me correctly. Yeah. And you don't have your best, your most talented players on the field. Yeah. So you're you're again, you're not putting players or the team for that matter in a position to be successful. You asked a question about Andy Dalton. Mm -hmm. You know, what do I think about him? Mm -hmm. Hadley nailed it. He's been he's been consistently average. Of course, we've been very negative to this point. I'd like to point out that I do like what the Bengals did in terms of bringing in Cordy Glenn, drafting yes. Billy Price. I, I think I think they made the, they rolled the dice and they made the right decision to bring in Joe Mixon. You know what I mean? I think he's just gonna continue to get better. Yeah. You know what I mean? And 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 
overall, there's a lot of talent on this roster. Yeah. If you just look at a defensive line position yeah. with, with Carl Lawson and you, and you got Sam Hubbard and Jordan Willis, it's crazy. Andrew it's Brown, crazy. a guy that we liked coming in, mm -hmm. Gino, uh, Atkins. Gino Atkins, yeah. you know, it's just Carlos yeah. Dunlap. It's yeah. just a lot of Andrew Billings. It's just a lot of talent yeah. at the defensive line position. And it, it's just... They, they, like we said, linebacker, we talked about Devin White. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think offensive line, also with that, that 11th pick, you know, they could have the, the pick of the litter, you know, Jawan Taylor at offensive line, mm -hmm. jo Jonah Williams, Cody Ford. So they could go in a different, Donald Reisner. They, they could go in a couple of different directions here with this 11th pick, man. So it'll be interesting to see what, what this new coaching staff, first time head coach, Zach Taylor, is able to do in terms of changing the culture. And, and that, that not only starts, obviously, at the top, you know what I mean? But, but certainly with the players you bring in as well. You mentioned C.J. Mosley. That, that would be a home run. It would be a home run. They got the money to do it. You know what I mean? In, in terms run. of bringing in a guy who, who comes from a team with a winning pedigree, for the, for, the, for the most part, he understands what it looks like, still has a lot of good football in front of him. You know, the, the guy that you've had in the middle that you've really depended on heavily because, because you know, you just didn't necessarily have the, the players otherwise was Vontez Perfect. You know what I mean? You can't necessarily count on him. Yes, an instinctual player, certainly. Mm -hmm. But, but you know, we, we're not sure about what's going on between his ears. You know what I'm saying? So bringing in some guys that, that are going to have a, a certain level of cachet, all right, in terms of galvanizing the team, and, and, and are going to be accountable. Going to be accountable and, and can lead. I, I think that's important in terms of in terms of the way they approach addressing the handful of needs you guys have mentioned. You know, when I look at the, the Cincinnati Bengals and this, this division just as a whole, you have the Steelers who are losing arguably the best running back in the league and receiver and receiver potentially. Um, and they got a D back quarterback. Then you turn around, and you look at the, the Browns who are up and coming. Yeah. You know, the, the talent is there. It looks like they're, they're going to take off, but it's, it's still a wait and see because you know everything's still kind of new there. So we'll find out there. And then you talk about the um, the, the Ravens, the defending AFC the, North the, champs, the, and they got in because they pushed the Steelers out. Yeah. So let, let let me pluck a let me pluck a CJ Mosley, and then let me see how that defense does. Put it on my team, and let's see where that leaves us. So you know. I, I, before this video, I was like, I don't know if the Bengals, I don't know if they, but to us sitting here talking through it. You see it. Lightning can strike. I, I, I'm starting to see it. Yeah. And, 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 Lightning and, and, can and, strike. And with the 50 mil they got in cash space, where you're picking in the draft, you have an opportunity to kind of seize the moment and 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 reclaim the division, and 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 not in the Marvin Lewis way, yeah. but but just in a different way. Because sure. I'm tired of seeing the same old message. I need to see something new when I walk in, when yeah. I walk through the door, and I'm pretty sure that's all the players. You know, they feel the same way too. I'm gonna ask you a question. Does does John Ross being shipped out make this team better necessarily? Be, I, I, I I don't think so because like like I said earlier, he he wasn't being used in the proper way. And and you can't teach what he has. No, you you, you simply cannot yeah, teach and, what he has. And they don't have it on the roster right now. Yeah, I, I think the thing with him. John Ross is you know we don't have all the information. Sure, we don't know that's, what's that's going fair. On behind the scenes, that's fair. So you know I can't you know but. On the field, this team isn't better without John Ross. Right. You know, they could definitely use his talent, his, 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 his uh, how dynamic he yes, is. Yes, the ability to stretch the field, certainly. So, yeah. But we, we all know everything, but I had a question for you guys. No, no, no. Let me ask another question. Let me ask another question. We talked about Andy Dalton. Mm -hmm. I said, that was, that was okay. to my all question. Right. <laughs> all right. All right. I figured I would. 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 So, you know, let me, let me pose a question ahead, to you guys, ahead. man. So you talk about grabbing a, a C.J. Mosley. Mm -hmm. we, say, we say they had a lot of defensive talent against the defensive line. Mm -hmm. Got some corners that he invested uh, high draft picks in. Mm -hmm. And if we go to the offensive side of the ball, we can address the offensive line second, third, fourth round later in the draft. Mm -hmm. okay. if, if, if you're right there at pick 11 mm -hmm. and, and a Kyler Murray or Dwayne Haskins is right there for you, do you select a quarterback? Because, like you said, Andy Dalton's been – you know, consistently average his whole career. Do you make that move for that quarterback in this draft? Yes, yes, uh, yes. I'm running. I'm running up to the yeah, podium. Yeah, or, like, they don't run up to the podium. No, call. No, no, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm Texan. I'm we we, we in the new age. Haskins or Murray? Pick, you, you, pick, pick, pick who you want. Pick who you want. Haskins is from Ohio. Mm -hmm. All right, and I can just imagine Murray in the backfield with Joe Mixon. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. You know, yeah, that's with John Ross, AJ Green, and Tyler Boyd. Mm -hmm. Run it. Run it, run it, yeah. Um, and, and and with with Andy Dalton, you know, you could you could trade him, you could cut him. 
Um, it's it, it don't it. There's no dead money. Sixteen point two on the on sixteen point two on the cap right now. You cut him, you, you you're good either that's, way. That's Marvin Lewis's guy. It's not mm. Zach Taylor's guy. Mm. Mm. Yeah, man. Mm. So there we that, go, that's, man. That's yo. That's we that's, laid it out for the that's, Bengals. That's man. a hell of a scenario. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. a hell of a scenario. Yeah, Jesse needs it for agency because you got the money. Mm -hmm. And then in the draft, you know, you possibly trade up. You trade up for the quarterback. Because, you know, Jacksonville needs a quarterback. Trade up in front of them. The Giants need a quarterback. Wow, yo. If Zach Taylor wants to get up on the good foot here, I, I think you want to go into this thing with, you know, particularly if you have an opportunity to get the guy that you really like yeah. at the quarterback position in this draft, go get him. Go get him. Because I think we've seen the best we'll see from Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton is who he is at this point. He's not, he's not going to make guys around him better. He's, he's not. He's not that type of player. And certainly... You can you can talk about some of his struggles in terms of in terms of the coaching. Certainly, you can put some there, but but a lot of it falls on him. He, again, this is not a, a, a quarterback under his rookie contract. He's been around long enough for us to know. We've seen what he can do when when his environment, his surroundings, the supporting cast is really good, and we've also seen it when it hasn't been so great. And what you get when you average it all out is average. See, that's what you get. Yeah. See. Yeah, I mean, when you talk about a Haskins, you talk about a Murray, these guys can, can do some things that Andy Dalton can't do and bring to the table. And could you imagine you know, one of those guys in in that in, in a Zach Taylor offense? I mean, I don't know what that's going to look like. I don't think anybody knows what that's going to look like. Well, hell, I mean, he's from a base tree, so. Uh, hell, we don't even know what the defense is going to look like. You know, 3-4, three, 4-3, three, four, four, three, I'd imagine it's going to be a 4-3, but you never know. It's, it's going to be an exciting offseason for the Bengals. Yeah, I think they, so. You know, I mean, I think... I think from from our perspective, you know, mm -hmm. they're they're the higher, you know, we we don't know what to make of the higher. Yeah. They were very very um, selective regarding the defensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. So you know, it, it, they've kind of just that's kind of been the headline. That's 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 all been the discussion. And just recently, of course, the John Ross discussion came up mm -hmm. in terms of him being a, a, a trade chip. But certainly, given their cap flexibility. Where they're at in the draft, there's a multitude of things they can do. And Bengals are in some uncharted territory. Yeah. Marvin Lewis has been there for almost two decades. Yep. All right, He's no longer there. You've, you've had Andy Dalton in the center for, for you know, well over half a decade. So now is the time, from my perspective, as we, as we work through this, as we talked about this, as we've discussed this, now is the time to go ahead and, and take a big swing and go get one of these QBs. Continue to change. Yeah. Continue yeah. to change. Reset. It's yeah. time to reset. Get your guy. Yeah, Bengals fans, let us know, you know, everything we stated, man. Where, 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 how do you feel about your team? Where, where you guys are? Do you think you could take over the division? You know, are, are the Browns nipping at your heels? Like, what, what do you think of the, the, the defensive coordinator, offensive coordinator, the head coach? Well, how are you feeling about your team? And by the way, I want to know how you feel about your general manager. And the Andy Dalton thing, man. Let us know what you guys think about. Definitely. You know, it's a time to move on from Andy Dalton. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank you.